is in Ukraine, the more successful our policy is, the more likely it is that nuclear weapons will be used. This is another reason to shut this down immediately or do everything you can to shut it down. Well, the point is that sometimes our neighbors in the Western Hemisphere fear us. The reason that Toronto is not the capital of Canada and Ottawa is the capital of Canada is that Toronto was too close to the American border mm -hmm. and the British who ran Canada in the 19th century were fearful that we would invade Canada and we would take the capital, which was Toronto. So they made Ottawa the capital. And there are all sorts of canals and military fortifications still existing in Ottawa that are left over from the days when the Canadians feared. Well, the point is that times change, right? Look at Cuba, look at Venezuela today, right? Uh, in World War I, uh, the United States was worried about the Germans forming a military alliance with the French. Uh, excuse me, the Mexicans forming a military alliance with the Germans. Uh, it might have been a long time ago. The point is, the United States does not want any country in the Western Hemisphere to invite a distant great power in with its military forces. Whether Canada is going to do that or Mexico is going to do that is largely irrelevant. We just don't want anybody to do it, period because it's a threat to our survival. This is where I started off describing realism. Realism operates on the assumptions that great powers are very sensitive about their survival. Mm -hmm. They worry greatly about their neighbors doing things that can threaten their security. And what the Russians are saying with regard to Ukraine is that we effectively have a Monroe Doctrine. We do not want this alliance, which was our mortal enemy in the Cold War, coming up to our border. We do not want American military forces in Ukraine. We don't want missiles and planes and troops from NATO in Ukraine. Very Ukraine forces. is different. Mm -hmm. Ukraine is a much bigger piece of real estate and it, it, it represents a, a, a much more threatening situation to Russia than the Baltics. I think from the Baltic states' point of view, from Ukraine's point of view, and from Poland's point of view, and from Romania's point of view, just to pick a handful of countries, it makes perfect sense to want.